in Southern California, and now we have children murdered at school. When are we going to do something? I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on HR 8, which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children? This is Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. And our elderly and our churchgoers, because that's what it looks like. What we do every week. So I'm fed up. I've had enough. We're going to play the game tonight. But I want every person here, every person listening to this, to think about your own child or grandchild, or mother or father or sister, or brother. How would you feel if this happened to you today? Speaking before his team's game in the state of Texas as the Warriors take on the Dallas Mavericks. We can't get numb to this. We can't sit here and just read about it and go, well, let's have a moment of silence. Yeah, go Dubs, you know? Come on Mavs, let's go. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go play a basketball game. And, and 50 senators in Washington are gonna hold us hostage. You realize that 90% of Americans, regardless of political party, want background check, universal background check. 90% of us. We are being held hostage by 50 senators in Washington who refuse to even put it to a vote, despite what we, the American people, want. They won't vote on it because they want to hold on to their own power. It's pathetic. I've had enough. Um, there's not really much to say. It feels hopeless. Because we've seen it too many times where whether it's Uvalde or it's Sandy Hook or it's Columbine or it's Buffalo or it's El Paso. We have this endless cycle of it occurring, having outrage, calling for change, and it never happens. There have been over 20 school shootings this year. There have been more shootings than days this year. And the cycle keeps going round and round. It didn't stop with Parkland. We saw on CNN when Cameron Caskey was going after Marco Rubio. And those senseless killings didn't stop any Republican member of Congress from taking the blood money that is the gun lobby's donations to them because this country has legalized bribery. And Ted Cruz brought something to the Supreme Court that they gave the stamp of approval on where bribery can continue in different forms. Um, I like what Jordan Ewell on our network is doing, which is every single thoughts and prayers style tweet that we always see, he is showing the donations that that politician has been given when it comes to the gun lobby. And most of all, what frustrates me is there are so many people who are in favor of stricter gun laws. And even though statistically, hypothetically, Dems might have control of how
House and the Senate and the presidency, nothing's passed because there are people who are and have a D next to their name, but they are not that. In most other countries, they would be very right, as in politically. I put out this tweet earlier, um, how the gun lobby owns Republicans because it funds their next boat, their next car, the next vacation getaway. Maybe it helps them book flights to Cancun when the power goes out, who knows? And you notice the trend. All of these politicians who take this money have an R next to their name. And it continues, and it's not gonna stop. Why would it stop? They profit off of all of this. I'm sure you guys are smart. You saw that Ted Cruz and Donald Trump and the governor of Texas, Greg Abbott, who made it easier for anyone to get a gun in the state of Texas. Yet, masking is bad. Those pesky masks, they're terrible, but guns, free for all. They're gonna be speaking in, I believe it's Houston, Texas, at a convention for the NRA. And their solution, as it always is, is the following. We need to arm teachers. We need armed security guards. Well, what happened in Buffalo at Tops? There was an armed ex-police officer that served as a security guard shot his gun at the shooter and because he had warfare style armor it did nothing and then he killed that security guard seeing the stories that parents are telling of what their kids have said they have done during active shooter drills we don't have to live like so this fake BS thoughts and prayers. I, I know everyone is like really tired of hearing it. And I, look, I am too, but it's what we do. You need to vote. You got to get out and vote. You got to vote. You got to vote. You got to vote. I know it's tiresome. But there is a way to solve this. And it's by voting those people who take this form of legalized bribery out of office. There is a way to do this. There is a way to have stricter gun laws. I just, I find it depressing that because Donald Trump Jr. wants to have a guide woo an innocent animal out of wherever they live in the woods and bait it and shoot it because they think it's fun because that's a manly man because he wants to do that kids should die because he wants to shoot a gun kids in elementary school should die we are supposed to be buried by our kids we are not supposed to bury our kids and it's become normalized sad, isn't it? And um, until those changes come, it will continue. And the next cycle will be just like that.